it looks like basketball has evolved. It, for me, I don't see it as interesting as it used to be way back when we talk about the Wallace brothers, the um, Manu mm -hmm. Nobles of this world. These days, uh, you have fewer players like Yanis Antetokounmpo, um, LeBron James, Steph Curry, who seems to have, have fizzled out because of injury and all that. It's not like before that we used to enjoy basketball. To me, I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. I think it's still really exciting. Yeah. I mean, the thing now is a lot, the style of play has changed. Yeah. You know, um, players are coming in a lot younger. Um, you see a lot of super teams now, yeah. you know, where stars all go to, you know, one team or you have a team of three, four stars. I think it's really interesting, even mm. though teams are still um, suffering from injuries, except for like the Lakers, you know, Houston. But you have most teams that have like, two, three, four, you know, all-star players, players yeah. on, on one team. And I think even this morning's game with um, Dallas Mavericks and the Bucks, it was inter interesting to yeah. see that um, Luca was out. Um, that's their best player, the Mavericks. Mm -hmm. And still they were able to get a win. Okay. Um, a lot of bench players stepped up. Um, Seth Curry. Um, Steph Curry's brother, brother. had 26. Um, a lot of role players stepped up. And amazingly, Giannis, Nigerian star, had 48, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but unfortunately, it just goes to show you need more than just one Story superstar points, yeah. to get it done. You know, the bench really matters. Role players, players really matter. Um, and those are the teams that are going to be able to scale through the playoffs mm -hmm. and ultimately get in the championship. Yeah. Um, so it, it's really interesting. I'm a Warriors fan. <laughs> Hometown is the Warriors. So yeah. it's unfortunate, you know, what they're going through right yeah. now um, with all the injuries. Clay's out. Curry's out. Um, Draymond is in and out. Um, we just have, you know, D'Angelo, D'Lo. Mm -hmm. But it, it's more, like I said, it's more, you need more than that. Um, yeah. So uh, the playoffs for the Warriors looks a little far, <laughs> but um, I think for them what's good is a lot of their young players are getting a lot of minutes. Yeah. You know, they're able to to really make an impact and, mm -hmm. and learn the game. And, you know, NBA is completely different from um, college ball, you know, mm -hmm. so okay. they're getting a lot of time to, to really play. They have Pascal, you yeah. know, the young kid who's coming in and, and doing a lot. So I think um, for the Warriors, for them, I would say build this year yeah. um, and focus on next year. And I think, you know, with some rumors going on that Giannis might potentially mm. come to the Warriors. I mean, he's, he's okay. going to be a free agent. So <laughs> that that would be lovely. <laughs> lovely to see Giannis yeah. Antetokounmpo uh, play at uh, uh, the Golden State Warriors. Uh, well, I'd love to see that. I'm a Warriors fan as well uh, when it comes to basketball.